Okay, hello everyone. So this week episode, we will touch about um, fur coat and maintenance. So today we have Onyx with me here, and then we will show you how to do the fur coat and maintenance. Okay, next we will be covering about combing. So combing techniques, you can look at our first video, which I will put the link in the description below, uh, about how to do the combing techniques. Today we will show you what you should do with a Shiba coat. So for the Shiba coat, very simple. A lot of people will go into combing and de-shedding. There is a lot of tools that actually comes with a blade inside. So if you take a look at all these de-shedding tools that I have, uh, you can look, take a look. They are actually they have actually blade inside. So for us, if you are depends on your usage, depends on what uh, is the results that you want. For de shedding, right, uh, we will highly recommend to not do it yourself. Usually, we will highly recommend for a professional to do it. And also for our case, those dogs that we want them to be very fluffy, we don't even use the de shedding tool. So the reason why is because there are blades inside the de-shedding tool that will also pull out some, a small amount, but it's also a significant amount of fur that are also still healthy. But whereas if you just use a sticker brush, it's very simple, they will only take out the, the fur that is, uh, that is about to come out. So the, the, the fur that is about to shed. Okay, so my way of de-shedding, right, actually not really called de-shedding, combing, is that you can take a look at this brush first. So now the whole brush is actually quite empty with uh, no fur. And then what we use, what we do is, so for example, we comb this way in layers. And then you try to comb in uh, very, very detailed in, slowly comb in layers. Uh, you can actually take out all the fur that are about to shed. And the healthy fur will definitely stay because there isn't any blades inside this uh, sticker brush. So if you take a look, you can see it's also a very good way to take out their shedding coat. So as much as we don't encourage de shedding, actually it depends on the results that you want. If you want to keep them very very fluffy, of course de shedding is not recommended. But then of course if you want them to have lesser coat so that they don't shed so much, de shedding can help you with that. So of course, but the result won't be as fluffy as uh, those dogs that uh, don't use this kind of uh, de-shedding products. So for us, for our show dogs, definitely de-shedding is, is throw away. <laughs> okay, so I cannot emphasize more about drying them well because drying is actually very important as I mentioned in our previous video. So what happens is during the drying process, you can actually see their skin condition while you dry because as you blow the hair dryer or you blow, blow with the blower, you can actually take a look at inside their skin. So if whenever they have any issues, faster spray the silver collider spray as I mentioned in the previous video as well. So what happened is uh, you gotta make sure that when you go through uh, the hair dryer, you go through in, in layers and layers and layers, take a look. Okay, so a lot of people ask about uh, what kind of shampoo do we actually use. So for us, we like to use the iconic brand, uh, the true iconic brand. Uh, what happened is you can see there are many many types of shampoo, so how to use them and then uh, what kind of fur coat, what kind of skin type uh, suits the different shampoo, right? So today we will show you how we use. Okay, personally, I prefer the Show Beauty uh, because they are very, they smell very good. A lot of customers also review that they actually smell very good. So what happened is these are for the normal type skin. So when it comes to shampoo, honestly, I feel that there is no right or wrong shampoo or better shampoo. It's actually a lot got to deal with uh, what kind of skin coat you have, what kind of coat your dog. Uh, have that will accept different kind of brands, different kind of shampoo. Next follow on is the collagen series. Collagen series is more for the skin type where it's a little bit more dry. So collagen will help, the collagen buff will help to uh, moisturize the skin as well. So when it comes like that, why, why do you always see two right? It's actually one is a shampoo, one is a conditioner. So you can look through. Uh, collagen is for a little bit more of the dry skin. So next we will have the Maxi series. The Maxi series is actually to fluff up your dog and then to also make the coat denser and fuller. So this kind is more for, towards the poodles and those that you want to fluff the dog up. Okay, so for problematic skin and sensitive skin, we usually recommend this Serbo Fix. Well, uh, it's a medicated shampoo. 
So when it comes to medicated shampoo, you must uh, take a look at this uh, chlorhexidine level. This for this is two percent. So chlorhexidine is the one that kills bacteria, but yet chlorhexidine is also the one that can uh, uh, make the skin a little bit on the dry side. So for this shampoo, why we recommend is actually they have uh, trees. Lavender oil, lemongrass oil, and many many ingredients that will actually help on moisturizing after killing the bacteria. So, which is a very highly recommended shampoo for sensitive skin. Usually, we'll have a, a, a two kind of shampoo. One is the type that they normally have, and then the other one will be those times where you see flaky skin, dry skin, or sensitive skin, or they become very itchy, keep scratching. Then I will go through this shampoo. And then if next time it recovers, then I go back to all my the normal shampoo that I use. Lastly, we will cover about the coat revitalizing spray and volume energizing spray. So actually these two are the same kind of function. They will spray at the end of the grooming session where they will actually protect. So it's a leaf on that actually moisturize and protect the coat. Uh, also keep it from not tangling. But for Shiba's of course it doesn't really tangle. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. So lastly, we just like to mention that uh, you have to try to identify the skin type of your dog first. So some, some dogs are actually more of the oily skin type, some dogs are the dry skin type. So then you will use the different shampoo uh, that uh, we have here. Also, there is no right or wrong or best shampoo in the world. Every skin type uh, actually get used to different kind of shampoo. So a lot of times, if we use for a, 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 a period of time, and then you notice that your dog skin is not so good, maybe you can consider changing. But if you use for a period of time and your dog skin is actually very good, then you shouldn't be changing so much so to keep things simple. So this is the way we like to do it. And then hope you enjoy the video. And then you can join us on our next episode. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.